Jersey City Mall, a one-year-old first experience with the Easter Bunny turned into a full-out brawl. Take a look at this crazy video. Gang, gang, gang. Yo! Gang. Yo! Easter Bunny catching the head! Yo! Yo, why are you so tight? <laughs> Oh, sure, that's the Easter Bunny. Oh, the Easter Bunny throwing hands. The Easter Bunny is ass cracker. <laughs> so my favorite part of this video is when he takes off his bunny hands to really get into the mess. And this all started uh, when the one-year-old slipped off of his lap during the pictures. And the one-year-old father started verbally and physically assaulting the bunny. Now, Kasim Charles, who's 22, uh, who is dressed as the Easter Bunny, uh, and uh, Juan Jimenez uh, Guerrero, who's 44, were both charged with aggravated assault and disorderly conduct. Now, uh, Charles and Jimenez Guerrero both had outstanding warrants, and Charles, the Easter Bunny, had a warrant for his arrest for fair hopping, which is too <laughs> ironic. Way, way, way too ironic. That is hilarious. Yes. Okay, um, no, let's talk about the great parts of it. First of all, he had to take his Easter head off, like yes. the bunny head off, right, uh, to get at the guy. Mm -hmm. And then, but before he takes the Easter mittens off or whatever, right, the paws, the bunny at paws, I should say, he goes like this to him, like, <laughs> with the paws still on, like, cut it out, right? And then when he comes back, he's like, all right, it's on. <laughs> Throws the bunny paws off and then they go to work. They both had to be taken to the hospital for minor injuries. Well, man, when they asked, uh, who is it, Jimenez? Yeah. Like, hey, well, yeah, well, yeah, but you should see the other bunny. <laughs> right? Oh. Dude, when you get into a fight with a bunny, no one wins. <laughs> <laughs> At what point is someone so angry that they're motivated to attack a fluffy Easter bunny? Well, when when that said bunny it drops your one year old, that might do it. Yeah. Okay. We don't know the exact details. We don't know. I'm just yeah. saying this is the most New Jersey story of all time, and it's this is the reason why I constantly am embarrassed that I went to school there and never mentioned that I'm from New Jersey. And Except get you just upset. Did. I get upset when you mention that you're from New Jersey. I love it. I'm Jer I'm Jersey oh, strong, God. man. It's I'm just, Jersey yeah. proud. That's like, how we roll, man. We will kick a rabbit in the <laughs> ass. It's just like even people from New Jersey don't want to say they're from New Jersey. So North Jersey says they're from New York, and South Jersey claims that they're from Philadelphia. Like that makes it better. No, <laughs> I'm just, I know, like, but it's so the only, bad. The only people more likely to kick a bunny's ass than people from Jersey are people from Philly or Boston. <laughs> okay. But yes, so. Fun for everybody. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, when I first read this story, uh, I was like, okay, the Easter Bunny got mad. And look, like, we've heard stories where the Santa Clauses get upset because those mall characters, if you will, have to undergo through so much, right? So they're like constantly having kids on their lap. They're like snotty. They pee on them sometimes. Like, I would be frustrated too. So if somebody started like verbally and physically assaulting me after I'm going through a full day of that, like, a full I'm day of living in New Jersey. Pause. <laughs> on top of all of it, he's still like, oh man, I'm still in New Jersey. Like, I still haven't been able to get out. No, just seriously though, like, the, immediately, as soon as I read this, I was like, two, definitely two Guido guys, and Guido doesn't necessarily have to be Italian. Uh, Everybody were, in Jersey. With, with highlights in their hairs, <laughs> like, uh, were roided up and they were fighting one another, like, yo, bro, let's fucking do this shit. Like, that's how I picture it going down. <laughs> I, I think this the I think the bunny was black, right? Yes. And and the other guy's Latino. Yes. But Haas is right. Everybody in Jersey's a Guido. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. So and they're all my and all the guys so pissed. And all the guys are roiding. So that's <laughs> definitely part of the issue here. Uh but okay, uh putting Jersey aside though, uh guys, come on man, you're better than this. <laughs> don't don't attack Santa, don't attack the Easter bunny. It's just going to get ugly. Remember, your one-year-old's still there. I mean, luckily they won't remember. I mean, right? but, but think about if there's other kids in the mall too yeah. who are trying to get their pictures with the Easter Bunny. Now they're completely scarred. You know what right. I mean? Do you remember how like scarred you were when you learned like Santa Claus wasn't real or something that you thought was real for so long that like broke your heart? Now they see freaking the Easter Bunny's in head come fairness, off though, and start beating up one of the dads. Like that's that's extremely. In all fairness, it's the Easter Bunny. It's like one of the weakest of characters, like of all mythological but one characters. One of the most lovable. But but here's here's what I'm no. saying. Here's what I here's the point I want to make. Okay. If this guy is so concerned with the safety of his son that he is willing to throw bows with a with a to complete random stranger in a bunny outfit, 
What the fuck? Did you not see the video? Did you not see the commotion? It did not seem like this person cared at all about the safety of this child whatsoever. Mm. There are people running around. People. This song could have been trampled. 